Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today truly is a great day, and to celebrate that great day, I wanted to make a little announcement. Uh, now, today there's going to happen an event in the 7 Bagley's Lane, London SW62QA, in the Support Ukraine Fulham Hub. There's going to be an event called the Toloka. It starts at 12, um, you know, at midday, uh, and it ends at uh, midnight. So it's a long event, the whole day. It's a charity event, by the way. If you guys want to bring something there to donate to the Ukrainians, to the Ukrainian heroes who are fighting right now, go ahead and do it. It will be great. Great food, great music. Everything is amazing. I've been in the previous Toloka. It was really awesome. I would invite every single one of you guys to come too. Um, now, there's a little something I wanted to do for this uh, situation. Uh, because, uh, again, today is a great day. Um, because Ukraine finally has a good chance of ending this war. Now that Russia is fighting itself, you know, uh, some very lovely memes have been released with the Russian two-headed eagle uh, having those two heads biting each other. It's very, very funny stuff. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that if the Russians retreat their troops from Ukraine, it's going to be a really, really awesome situation because we will finally end this threat once and for all. Now, not a lot of you guys might know this, but I love the Monster Energy drink. And I got a little collection. Check this out. Look at this. Whoa, look at that. Look at all of these. And the second side too, you know, second row. Uh, now, it's not going to be a particularly serious video. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about this, uh, these drinks here because i'm going to donate them to uh, the U support ukraine hub that's right and i think every little single little donation helps so everybody should do what they can to help ukraine as much as they can uh, because uh, if we do nothing you know it changes nothing but even if we help just a little bit if we multiply that help by the millions of people who live everywhere then it will be a huge help now, I've donated in the past, uh, usually via money and uh, via other things, uh, donations and, uh, you know, helping out the people who do the protests. By the way, the protests happen every week uh, on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock, on Saturdays at 4 o'clock. Today, I'm going to be there. And on Sundays at 3 o'clock. Um, every single time it happens in 10 Downing Street and show up, show your support. It's going to be great. You know, it's where I got this lovely t-shirt here. Look at this lovely trident here. We got different colors uh, depending on your preference. But without further ado, let's talk about the monster energy drinks, shall we? Now, I've organized them in, um, in a manner that shows uh, which ones are better, which ones are worse. Let's start from the worst one. And it's this one, the, um, uh, the punch uh, energy, the Pacific punch, you know. There it is. This, in my opinion, is uh, the worst one of them all. It has a little bit of an aftertaste. It doesn't taste particularly nice. It was honestly the only one that I, uh, uh, when I was on my way to work, when I was, you know, having a little drink of Monster, you know, just to wake up early, just to stay awake the whole day. Um, I didn't finish it uh, when I was out of the tube because it wasn't too great. It was uh, mediocre. Without further ado, oh, but the name though, the name is ironic, you'll see why later on, Pacific Punch. The next one is the Ultra Watermelon, you know, this one over here. Now, you might think, watermelon, it's gonna taste nice, right, because watermelon tastes great. But no, this one doesn't, it has a very powerful aftertaste. Um, and yeah, that's basically it, it's just not great. It's not as bad as the aftertaste of the Pacific Punch, but it's still kind of noticeable. Now, then we have this one again. Uh, aftertaste is the name of the game. It says um, Ultra Fiesta Mango. Yeah, it's not a very great fiesta. But uh, yeah, you might have noticed that I'm not a huge fan of every single one of these. And uh, it might sound a bit strange. Oh, you know, this guy said he likes Monster. I do. But not all of them are great. But don't worry about it. We'll get to the good ones very, very soon. This one is uh, mediocre. It's not great, not terrible. Uh, it's just kind of meh. Uh, but it still has the aftertaste. Now, this one, uh, it's called Ultra Black. 
um, they have some random names sometimes for the monster energy drinks. Uh, the ultra black one, it um, has an aftertaste, but it kind it's kind of better than the other ones. Uh, even, you know, I don't know if you've noticed this, sometimes you drink, have a drink or eat some food, and then the taste kind of remains in your mouth even after you finish, even, even a while after you finish. Um, this is one of those, but the taste is not too bad. It's, uh, it's all right, but, you know, not, not too good either. Uh, I would give, uh, I would give this one, like, um, uh, four out of ten, the previous one, three out of ten, the previous one, two out of ten, and the, the worst one, one out of ten. So we'll keep going up. This one is just Monster Energy. It's the classic Monster Energy. It's, uh, on, uh, number five from the end, uh, the, you know, the fifth worst, you could say. Uh, and uh, now we're getting into a moment that they're not bad. This is 5 out of 10. This is decent, could be a decent drink if you really need the energy. Because again, Monster really gives you a lot of energy. You know, it has saved me in a lot of days that I didn't get enough sleep and needed to work. Then we go to this one. It's the uh, chaotic tropical orange, it says. You know, this one has a little bit of an aftertaste, but it's uh, a relatively pleasant aftertaste. I would give it five out of five out of ten, uh, five point five out of ten, in fact, so that it's not exactly the same as the previous one because it's slightly better, I would say. Now this one is the golden gold monster gold, um, ultra gold, in fact. This is six out of ten, I would call it because this one uh, tastes better. It has a very uh, fizzy kind of taste. It feels fizzier than the other ones. And uh, it just kind of tastes better than every single one of uh, other one of them that we've checked before. Uh, and I would, I would actually buy this one just for pleasure drinking, you know? So we're at uh, pleasure drinking. That, that sounds pretty funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seventh from the end. So we're closing in to the middle. This is around the middle. This could be something like 7 out of 10. This one is uh, Ultra Rosa. It's, uh, I put it above the previous one, uh, but it's kind of, was kind of a coin toss, to be fair. Um, it's not bad. It's not great. It just, just doesn't have much. It doesn't have much taste, doesn't have much of anything. It's a bit bland, but uh, no aftertaste. And it's pretty all right, I would say. Um, it's like the the classical energy drink. You drink it not for pleasure, but just to stay awake, you know. And it's perfectly fine. The next one, I have, I'm a, I am a little bit critical of the name, Lewis Hamilton. Now, I have nothing against Lewis Hamilton and whatnot, but uh, I prefer um, I prefer names that have to do with the actual taste, and not with people. I mean, does this does this thing taste like Lewis Hamilton? What? What are we even talking about here, guys? It's just weird. I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan. Imagine they, them calling an um, energy drink in my name or something. I would be like, I mean, sure, thanks, I guess. But why? That doesn't really explain what people are going to be tasting. But it tastes pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the Lewis Hamilton one is pretty all right. It's not bad at all. Uh, I would give it something like um, 7.5 out of 10. Yeah. Now, this one is, uh, once again, this one is a little bit bland. It's Monster Energy Zero Sugar. It's similar to uh, to the pink one that we just checked, check the Rosa. Uh, and I put it above Lewis Hamilton just because the Lewis Hamilton is not for everyone. I think that um, some people might like it, some people might not. You see, my reasoning is like this. Uh, the ones that are bland, that don't have much of a taste, will be enjoyed by basically everyone. Uh, because, you know, they won't hate them at least. But the ones that have a stronger taste, it will be a hit, of, hit or miss to an extent. Now, Lewis Hamilton, um, okay, it has a little bit of an aftertaste, but uh, not much. And it has a stronger taste than the other one. And now we got Aussie Lemonade. Now, Aussie Lemonade, it tastes like lemonade. It's as, as it implies, that's one of the reasons why I put it so high, because there's no false advertising here, you know, it's just um, uh, Aussie lemonade. It tastes like lemonade and it gives you energy and uh, it's pretty right. Um, maybe 
also 7.5 7 out of 10, like the other ones. They're almost at the same level at this point, but don't worry, we'll go higher in a bit. And higher, we are going with a bit of a coin toss again between this one and the next one. This one is um, Ultra Paradise, Monster Energy, Ultra Paradise. This is similar, in a way, to this one, to the golden one, because it's fizzy. It's very fizzy, it um, has a fizzy taste, it has a little bit of an aftertaste, but it's pleasant. Uh, I would give it 8 out of 10, uh, so it's pretty good. This one here, uh, Nitro. It looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? You know, this, this thingy right here, the, um, the can looks pretty good. The design is pretty all right. And it tastes a bit similar to the previous one I mentioned. Uh, again, it's a bit of a coin toss. They both taste a little bit similar, but you know, it is what it is. Whichever one you prefer, just go for it. But now we've checked most of these cans. Now we go to top five, the top five cans. And these are the cans that you should buy. If you see them, buy them. They taste good. They really, really nice. We're going to start with number five. This one. The design is really awesome too. I really like how this can looks. Look, it's like silvery, silvery stuff around here. And uh, Monster Energy Ultra. There was a time when this one was my favorite monster for quite a while and I wasn't buying any other one except this. Um, I've changed my mind since then but it's still really nice. It doesn't have a very strong taste, so it's going to be good for almost everyone. And the taste that it does have, I've never heard anyone say anything bad about it, so I think it's pretty good. Next one is Assault. This is <laughs> a bit of a comedic name for a Monster Energy uh, drink. And it also has to do with the military, you know, uh, in a way. Hopefully, not with the other kind of Assault. Um... This one is pretty good. This one uh, tastes a little bit like uh, Coca-Cola. You know, like the um, Coca-Cola sweets or uh, Coca-Cola uh, lollipops. It tastes a bit like that. Uh, it's pretty good. I would recommend it. Uh, oh, I haven't been qualifying them. Where Where is my head? Uh, this one, I would qualify it at 8.5 out of 10. Uh, same as this one, 8.5 out of 10. Now... Next, we go to this. It's called Mango Loco. You might be confused between this one and the other one, which is called uh, Ultra Fiesta Mango. They both have, uh, you know, Hispanic names, and they're both involve mango, but don't be confused. This one is not great. This one, the one with the skeletons and all the awesome, you know, uh, I, think, I think this is traditional... Uh, Mexican art. Um, this is really good. This is really good. So go for this one. Go for Mango Loco. Um, I would give it. I would give it nine out of ten. It's really really good. Um, but we're still. We're now at the top three. Still not the, not at the top one. This one is Monarch. Now this this one you know really awesome. Uh, Monster uh, Monarch. You know. It's fruity, it's very nice, it has a great taste, it has no, you know, consistent aftertaste. It's really tasty, this one, I would recommend it. And of course, the number one, and this is where you will see why I said that the uh, bottom one has an ironic name, because it's called Pacific Punch, and the best one, the number one, is called Pipeline Punch. And it's the pink monster. I used to call it the pink monster, but unfortunately there's this one right in the middle, which is the um, uh, Ultra Rosa. Ultra Rosa is, is like mediocre, but the Pipeline Punch is the best one by far. You know, you guys really need to try this one. Uh, if I keep drinking monsters in the future, it's probably going to be the main one that I'm going to drink. Uh, I've just noticed that this video has been going on for almost 15 minutes. Uh, which is a bit much <laughs> to be talking about energy drinks. But yeah, the point of this video overall is the main point is uh, to encourage people to donate and to help however they can, because that's what matters, my friends. You know, if we all do our part, if we, we all do something, even a little bit, the situation will change and the situation is changing now. So thank you very much for watching. 
uh, enjoy your monsters if you decide to buy them just don't abuse them too much i personally have one per week and no more um and that's it thank you very much i hope the the guys who will get these cans will enjoy them now that i've given a little bit of a crash course which ones are better which ones are worse and see you all next time